Hi guys, how's it going? In this tutorial, we will learn how to build this wooden lure's facade by using Grasshopper. Before it, let's review the last tutorial's pattern and learn something new, it's very important. In the last tutorial, we use interference in Grasshopper to make this pattern. Okay, let's see how to do it again. First, I use a square grease to build the grease and flatten it using the flatten tree here okay and use area to find the centric point of the grease because i want to use pull point to find the distance from the centric point to the curve this is a curve you need to remember size the curve onto the battery and connect them together okay and then i use the distance to be our radius because I want the closest circle to be the smallest radius and the furthest this one this circle to be the biggest radius one but I can't directly use the distance to be the radius because that will be too big for our circles you said so I use division battery between them. I can divide it by netting, 16. I can control the size of it. But there will be a problem. We don't actually know what is the smallest size of our circle and the biggest radius of our circles. But we really want to know it because in the real life, we need to control the minimum radius number and the maximum radius number. Okay, let's see how to do it. Enable these groups of batteries first. Okay, the first battery we will learn is this one. Bonds. And then remap numbers. And the last one is construct a domain. Okay, in the later tutorials, if we want to cite the minimum and the maximum numbers of the domain we use these three batteries let's see how to use it okay okay i drag a panel here we don't use division battery anymore so i just delete it okay, you can see all the circles now they are in the same radius if i input my distance to this panel and you can see all the distance from the centric points of these circles to the curve are showing in this panel now a lot of numbers maybe i guess the minimum number for this one is 0 0.1 something and you can see the biggest number maybe 16 or something else okay it doesn't matter okay for example if we guess this number the maximum number is a hundred here and the minimum number for this panel is zero if i want to define my new number minimum number is zero and the maximum number is 10 i can give it a new domain right and if for this domain the middle number is 50 for this one it will be 5 okay we use the similar principle to do our batteries now let me delay this one for now all the numbers in this battery i give the value to here and i give it a um, domain now, this is the domain for the numbers here. And I will give it a new domain. You can see this domain to be like from 0 to 100 for the top one. And I am build my new domain now for this one. Okay, I want my new domain. Maybe the minimum number will be 0 0.1 for the radius. Okay, I'll give it the domain start and my maximum number for the radius will be 1 because if you see our 
size of the grid it is two so the radius only can be one okay the domain end will be one if you input 1.5 or 3 the circle will be larger than the grid it will be not right so i give it one okay and then i use map to link the radius okay then you say the closest circle will be 0 0.1 maybe this one is 0 0.1 it is the minimum number of the radius and the furthest one maybe this one or this one this is a maximum radius number for the circle okay if we check it we can use the panel and connect it to here you can see it's number five radius of the circle is one it is a maximum one and the last one the minimum number of it it's hard to find it but it will be 0 0.1 you can see there is 0 0.271 something maybe we can find smaller one 0 0.11 0 0.1029 and i believe there will be a 0 0.1 number here yeah but it doesn't matter okay guys practice it and then we do the wooden lures example Hi guys, how's going for the tutorials? Now I would like to share something with you. As you know, you can watch tutorials on our channel. But for those who are just starting with 3D modeling or who is interested in having more details and semantic learning to improve their running skills, we have designed a series of architectural modeling and design courses for Rhino and Grasshopper. Come to our website, rhinoarchschool.com, the first link in the descriptions. Let's see how it works. Open your browser windows and tap RhinoArchSchool.com. Get close to look at our course. You can join our Rhino Architecture Design tutorials from beginner to advanced course. The first one is unlimited time course. The second one is monthly payment course. They are the same course, just different purchasing method. Learning this course, you will get a step-by-step -step -step approach to learn with how to be modeling organic architectures parametric architectures through interesting cases and famous architects project. For example, the Hahadis project, Mass project, Via Pingo's project, Shidiju Point's project, and much much more. Join our professional architecture course and design your miracle. Also, if you want to have files, materials, or YouTube tutorials, you can guide them by supporting become our blog members. You can find the link in the description. I would like to thank all of our blog membership supporters. It really helped us create even better and more tutorials. If you like the tutorial and would like to see more, please click the like button and make sure you subscribe our channel and we publish the new videos two times per week.